And it is a pleasure to be here for the first time with the OSRL series of competition. We are in the E Mod series for tonight's event. It's the Click It or Ticket 75. And we are running the wheel in modified cars in qualifying. Now, qualifying goes through a very orderly Whoa, wait, structure wait. as, tr as may, it's going to be Trifon Davis' first car on track. What's happening? May, may I say the reference to that name? I, I, read, I read on this last night. So the click it or ticket is 75 is because New Hampshire doesn't have a seatbelt law for adults, like people over 18. Oh, really? Yeah, look it up. Now that it's I true. did not know, and we're going to be presenting our opening graphic brought to us by the great people at Puffer Zone Network, the normal broadcasters of OSRL. But of course, Matt Spaulding is running the Road to Pro series, trying to make his way into the E-NASCAR Coca-Cola iRacing series. We wish him the best of luck, but for us, it's OSRL Night in America. And we are presenting, as it says in the top right corner of your screen, the OSRL E-Mod series, New Hampshire Cleaner Ticket. 75 at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, round two of six in Loudoun, New Hampshire. And we're going to be bringing back our ticker right. right now. Only nine drivers here as Trifon Davis takes the fastest lap. That's going to be a 30.308. First driver to do it in a three-lap stint. And the next driver to be called up is going to be, I believe, according to our practice statistics. That's going to be Wesley Person. Going next, and since Trifon Davis so far has the pole position, not in any of the voice chats, so we are not able to interview. Wesley Person, though, is and is going to be going for the pole time. Set so far, 33.08. Broadcasting booth for tonight is myself, Andrew Schulte, as you heard beforehand, and Alexander Balderos, throttle in that number 95. Yeah, I have no experience in these cars, so I don't know exactly what the drive like, but I've heard from other sources that they're quite grippy and quite loose at the same time. So it's um, going to be interesting here at New Hampshire to see. Uh, I, I think. What everyone's going to be on about. You, Schulte? I, I, think, I think we saw a couple of those. I think we saw a couple of modifieds in the uh, Phoenix race we did, just did. Oh, you're right, right about right. that. Clark Nance being one of them. Maybe <laughs> he'd win this race. As we actually have 12 drivers now, as a few have shown up, that's going to be more than last week's race at Stafford Speedway. Coming around, hugging the white outside fence. And it's going to be a 30.186. That bests Trifon Davis using the rubber he set. That's going to be a tenth up, 12 hundredths to be exact. In the last, and the next driver is going to be CJ Nemetz in the number 14 iRacing machine. A lot of these drivers on default designs. Yeah, it's certainly interesting here. Not a lot of people having a paint scheme. And you'd think for a league, you know, you'd like have a special league paint scheme. But I guess not. I guess these are guys more on track performers. Right about that. It's not the scheme that makes the driver. It's the driver that makes the scheme. And as far as I'm aware, one of the only drivers to have a special design for tonight is Robert Panko. Not on track right now, but it doesn't even look like he's in the session on the timing sheets. But it does show him on our ticker and I believe he's got a really special tide ride here and it's gonna be great to show it off as it's gonna be CJ Nemitz going right now around the magic mile let's ride on board very nice camera And from my experience at the track, a good lap time is in the 33, 30.1 range. I got a 30.2, my best lap trying to get the uh, thumbnail shot for tonight's event, actually. So it feels good to be in a slightly competitive setting when it comes to the pole times. Let's see if CJ Nemitz can knock this one out of the park and get a 30.1 or lower. It's going to be 30.104, top of the charts so far. And he's still going for his second lap right now. Looks like he's got purple pace coming through to the second straight to the back straight away, in fact. And also, is it... On three right now. What's coming up? Are, are you the same David Kreutz that got second in the speed loop by so, 200? If Matthew Zwack was in this race, it would be a lot funnier. <laughs> They're forward. About that and the fastest lap for Nemitz is going to be that 30.104. His first lap is going to grab him the provisional pole. Good stuff there. Next driver up is going to be 
not Rudy Valentine or Jack Lauer, but Lane Tidwell in a number 17. Let's check out the design. He has a Carl Long inspired one. And that's a good looker. And I'm a Carl Long fan myself, so it's good to see some representation for his machinery on track. I, I was reading up in a couple of the chats last night. Um, Carl Long. Carl Long paint schemes are very interesting to look at. Carl Long is worshipped in this uh, league. You know, hold on. Hold on. Ooh, Stanley has a new paint. Oh, God. He made another port of Dan Dong paint. Port of Dan Dong. You know what? We should get him to run this series because a port of Dan Dong modified leading the field just sounds right to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go on trading paints and look for Carl Long schemes. Wouldn't have any other one. Well, let's take either. a count of how many how many Carl Long schemes can I find? One, two, the 2000, yeah. All right, two Carl Long schemes. Hold on. Yes. Wait, wait, hold on. You know, hold on. I'm gonna go to, hold on, hold on. one Carl Long scheme. All right, as it's going to be Lane Tidwell last in the charts right now, going through his second lap at 30.319, first time by, only two tenths off, but that's a major gap. And I think we're going to see a lot of pack racing given the close speed so far on the default New Hampshire setup for these machines. I tested with it, as I said beforehand, as Tidwell, by two one hundredth of a second, goes fastest on that lap of 30.081. Next driver up is going to be Mo Perry in the Dodge machine. So it seems that with every passing person, the track is only getting faster. You're right about that yes, throttle. So you're going to need to turn your if mic you're first out, if, if you're first out, you're slow. Right about that Wesley person, only 500s off. The pole was not the newest one out, but oh, so close to the pole. We've got three drivers within a tenth for it so far. Let's see if Mo Perry can add to it on that number 41 machine. As you can see, these machines are left leaning by choice. They're meant for short tracks on the most part. The crown jewel of the modified tour is the New Hampshire Motor Speedway in Loudoun. So seeing these drivers here to pay homage from this great track for modified racing is an amazing thing to see as Perry two tenths off, but that did not define the run that Tidwell had. Let's see if he can get the pole. Mm-hmm. Uh hopefully a good lap or a good second lap for him uh it wasn't a bad fa uh, first lap i mean he's sitting fourth currently so you know i'd about say that, that but it's pretty far off the top three coming around this time by looks like he's going two tenths quicker not enough be fourth oh. uh, eight hundredths off the pole amazingly close time so far and our next driver up is going to be jack lauer in that 59 machine. Man, did he get close. I think it's going to be a fantastic race, depending, uh, just seeing how qualifying is going. You are absolutely right about that. Very close, and I think all these drivers are going to be able to hold it in a pack. Now, as I said before, I raced with a lot of them in the OSRL Speedway 200. A lot of three-wide action there, especially for the lead. I was Grateful enough to actually make it to the finish and finish second to Matthew Zwack, who is not in this race. But, uh, I don't know. I think we're going to see as good racing, if not maybe even better. I like the modifieds a lot here tonight. And a few of the drivers I went up against for the victory are here as Lauer going around for his first lap. Let's see what that time is. And it's going to be a 30.064, besting them on the first lap. All-time quickest lap in the session so far by two hundredths of a second. That's five drivers within the tenth of the pole position. And wow, another that's close one. That's incredible. Right about that, uh, these yeah, drivers are making it look easy. Yeah. Now, Trifon uh, Davis, who was the Season 2 Cup champion and the OSRL V's champion, I competed in that championship as well. Not doing so right here, last on the charts. And of course, the first driver to go out, uh, quite the disadvantage as that's going to be the first lap fastest for Jack Lauer. Oh, yikes. And it's going to be 
Number 73, Jonathan Oates, the owner of OSRL, out for his own lap. Let's check it out. In the E mod number 73 car. And that is the car you see on your thumbnail. It's a promotional scheme made for this series specifically as this came together as a last resort for drivers who want to race but cannot race the Road to Pro Series. USRL Cup Series has been delayed to becoming almost every other week due to the Road to Pro Series being the only gateway for iRacers each year to, to uh, try their hand and making the Coca-Cola Cup Series. A lot of sponsorship yep. on the line, a lot of money there. So I can see why a driver like Matt Spaulding is going for it. We, of course, wish him the best of luck as Jonathan Oates going around yet another time. Gateway? Like, like... Like Gateway Motorsports? Oh, oh my god. Yes. And Oates is going to be now fifth on the charts. He's within a tenth of the pole, as is first to sixth on the leaderboard right now. Let's see if he can close the gap. Oh, it's over. No way. Big crash. Oh, he's passed away. Wow. Well, that, that, that's the mo that's the most casual oh, oh, rip I've ever heard. Like, Throttle, Throttle just watched a man die and he's like, oh, well. Next. Oh, well. Next. You can check the right front suspension already clobbered. Sliding around into the grass. Oh, hard hit for those Hoosier tires. Not Next driver is going to be Rudy Valentin in the modern McLaren machine, the Gulf Colors, inspired by the previous liberties of that Bruce McLaren created team. In the number 78, let's see if he can take it to the pole. So about everyone not having a paint scheme, I think we were wrong about that. A lot of people having paint schemes, it seems like. You're absolutely right about that. More drivers than they did not have designs, including Valentin right now going for his first flying lap. Mm-hmm. I think it looks nice. Right about that, and at the moment, we're going to bring in our current provisional pole sitter. Jack Lowry, you're currently first in the charts. How do you feel? I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I... I, I this track is, like, kind of easy. I, I, I mean, it's not e easy, but it's... It's not like, uh... It's not like a three-year-old can't do it or nothing, so... Hopefully we can stay up front. Uh, but yeah. I, I didn't think it was that fast, but sometimes, you know, the slower it looks, the faster it is. So, feels pretty good. Yeah, absolutely right about that. And you see all these close times in the qualifying. You think it'll be, like, pack racing? Uh... In practice, we're doing a little bit of side by side stuff because I think uh, definitely got a couple of grooves going here, especially with the speeds. Oh, god damn. Oh, and Rudy Valentine's uh, gonna take it. Oh, well. Hmm. I, I wasn't expecting to be uh, on top, but we'll try to waste our, race our way to the front. Who else but Rudy? Absolutely right Who about else? that, Throttle. Do you have any other questions for our second place driver in the qualifying so far? No, I think, I think, uh, just to quote him, you are seeing, correct? Huh? You, you, you ask? Yeah, you said, you said when you came in here, you know, you're seeing, you're seeing, just to make sure you are seeing. Am I, I'm seeing? Oh, I, I'm yeah. not really sure what's Wrong going on throttle. here. <laughs> what, what are you talking, are you on crack? What is going on? <laughs> oh <my laughs> Come on. <laughs> throttle. <laughs> throttle, I don't know what you're saying, man. He it was, it was uh, a play on what he said when he entered the He piece, said nothing when he entered. What? What? Rottle, are you okay? Never mind. This didn't go. Right. No, this this th didn't Rottle, go. Rottle, he said he was okay. feeling, not that he was seeing. Uh, Jack Lauer, thank you for your time. Yeah, yeah Rottle, I, I think you need to sleep now. And so far, right, Rudy Rottle, Valentin, top of the charts by almost a tenth. How are you feeling right now with the only 29 second lap in the field? Hey, Rudy. Uh, pretty good. Hello. Mm -hmm. oh. Car's driving great. That's amazing. Yes, it is. What's the modified like? Uh, this has a restrictor plate on it, if you guys didn't know. But it's going to be like wow. uh, pack racing. Wow. Yeah. Astonishing. Mm -hmm. Thank Astonishing you for technology. Uh, pulling me in. Right about that. Well, oh, you've got the pull time by quite a big margin. You think you'll be able to pull it away in the race? Absolutely not. Amazing yeah. motivation. 
amazing yep. motivation for you later in this race. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Rudy <laughs> Valentine, number 78, on the provisional pole. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you. Valentine back in his chat. As we saw, Robert Panko's tide ride there. And the next driver who's going to be going for a run is Jack Painter in the Bobby Labonte inspired cookout machine. Of course, Labonte was able to do a little campaign in the Whelan modified Southwest tour. And I was hoping he would come up north to a track like Riverhead, New Hampshire, or of the like, but that was not the case. So seeing this scheme from my display is the next best thing. Yeah, I'd say that. Would you, I though? It's, uh, I think it's fantastic. Good point, I think good point. thing remain. That, that's how I'm going to see it. Mm -hmm. Great point. Uh, at the moment, as he crosses the line, 1350 left in qualifying. And yeah. Painter so close there. That's a 30.001. Is he going to be able to get it on the second lap? I don't think he will, given the trend. But wow, a striking lap there for Painter in that 97. Interesting, yes, interesting. As the chrome wheels on that machine really do stand out, as well as the great scheme coming to the line now for the second completed lap. It's going to be not enough, but that was a great wow. lap as well. Wow. I have a thing for chrome well, he wheels. Tried. He tried, and that's all that matters. Right about no, that it doesn't. On to our next driver, who's going to be Tommy Cook. That was a pretty darn good lap. I don't see painter in any of the chats we're not going to be able to bring in it's going to be next on the lineup tommy cook in the number 200 triple digit threat in the green and purple machine let's see what he can do mm -hmm. you know driving the car turning the turns but by that turning the turns is the goal for concurrent viewers and i know this is a new series for us so we appreciate the sport uh, support as we're going into this league for the first time. If you do enjoy the content, be sure to like, subscribe. The works will be carrying the remainder of the series as far as we are aware. And we hope to bring the racing to you for the remainder of the next few months. 12 minutes remaining in this qualifying session. All the drivers getting a chance to go as Tommy Cook coming around for his first lap. It looks like he's a second behind pole. I don't believe that's accurate. Always oh, four tenths off though, 11 so far. Hmm. I think the track might be slowing down. So, given the last few laps, I'm not sure if that's correct. It might just be inexperience playing a part. Hmm. Well, we'll uh, get to see, so. Right about that coming around. Let's see what he can do. Not much better, but a few hundreds of improvement. That's going to be 10th right now for Tommy Cook, but it's 11th on the ticker. Hmm. Yes, interesting. Not good stuff there. Actually, it is 10th now as Typhon Davis was beaten once more. Getting to, I believe, our, what, our last man in qualifying? I think it is going to be our last man, but I don't see him on the track right now. Is the that going to be it? countdown. I think that is it for qualifying. You're right about that, y'all. It's going to be racing very, very soon. It's going to be Rudy Valentine who got the pole position. May as well bring him in once more. As it's going to be one lap of the pace car is control. All the drivers are going to be re-gritting, led, of course, by Rui Valentin, who's going to be getting onto the track shortly. Nice. Looks like he's actually going to be one of the last drivers to spawn in, but as you can see, the McLaren 78 is there, and looks like he just actually left the voice chat. Suppose he has to concentrate on the racing, which makes sense. And it's going to be a 78-97 front row. And let's take you through our starting grid for tonight's event. Well, all right. As you can see, Boom. we have Jack Lauer and Jack Painter on the front row. That actually doesn't seem accurate. I'm not wait, sure wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's not right. I think their faces are puffer fish. Yeah, they are puffer fish because this is taken from <laughs> Puffer Zone Network. Rudy Valentine right, well, and Jack Painter go. are on the front row. Almost 29 second laps for both of those drivers. A 30.001 for Jack Painter. That's going to be Jack Lauer and Lane Tidwell, P3 and P4. 
followed by Robert Panko in the tide ride and CJ Nemetz, 30.1 for that ladder machine in P number six. Wesley Person and Jonathan Oates, owner of the league, seventh and eighth on the grid right now, and Morpheus Perry and Tommy Cook, ninth and tenth. Rounding out the field is going to be Trifon Davis in 11th and not qualifying Darius Reza Dadgar in the number 65. And that is the only drivers we have for tonight's event. A 12-car field the most in this series at the moment compared to last week's nine. And we're coming around two turns to go until we get the action started for the Magic Mile. Interesting. And, uh, you know, I've never commentated on the uh, modifieds before, so I don't know what, like, the racing is like. So it's going to be, like, a first time for all of us. I think it's going to be quite interesting. Right about that. Up in the northeast. Modifieds are going at it from New yeah, Hampshire. Yeah. Yeah, Commanding yeah. start there by Rudy Valentine, I got to say. And the field is already spread out between multiple miniature packs. It's going to be Arius all the way in the back who loses a little bit of time there, but now is going to grab big time onto Trifon Davis. That was a really good exit, actually. Yeah, this is pretty nice race. Some 12 cars have started the race through more than last week has said. Well, four tons back is Painter. Painter and Jack Lauer going at it right now. The battle of the Jacks as they are going to be able to get a pretty big draft from Rudy. As you can see, the drivers are, while mostly single file, very close to one another, as it's going to be Panko and Wesley Person fighting it out right now. Yes, indeed. The quite interesting racing. It's uh, not, you know, exactly the style I'm used to, but I actually quite like it so far. Right about that. Very clean, but very close. It's going to be up to a few of these drivers up front to make a move, though. As Look at that. It's going to be Lane Tidwell on CJ Nemitz. Wow. Dives right through. And so does I... Robert Panko. Yeah. I, 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 I have a... No, I think it... Uh, I think it looks like really concentrated racing, you know? We're going to go like, on board with the nose cam of that number 92 to see what he sees. Man, these cars are super skewed. Right about that. You can see the suspension actively working on these machines. Yeah, that's cool. That it is, is cool. very cool. We don't see it in stock cars. We see it in open wheels. These are essentially NASCAR's open wheel series. You know what? Why don't they get sent to uh, Le Mans as the cup cars are going to be? Oh, my God. That's a bad idea. It's a great idea. I mean, if you're sending cup no, cars is. to Le Mans, send these things. Yeah, Drop the notes on the back bumper of this but little there, there's no open. There's no open wheelers in uh, what? Le Mans in open yeah, you're right. Le Mans is not as based as I once suspected. My apologies, y'all. Did you say based? Based. As you can see, Jonathan Oates trying to dive it in a little early there. Not happening. Just staying on the back bumper there. Actually losing a little bit of time on Panko. And fastest 71 lap to go. so far. Fastest lap is a 29.882 by Jack Lauer. When it comes to the top three, but overall that? it's that's Trifon Davis. Blinking. Yeah, that's the seven car blinking in front. I think that's person. You're right about that. It is Wesley Person. The field only separated by a few seconds so far. The draft keeping a lot of these drivers in check as Panko is going to try to go for a move. Very shortly. Got the speed to do it. But does he have the track? As nobody so far has been able to make it too wide. This is the start of the race. We've got a battle up front that's heating up. And look at that. It's going to be Jack Painter on Rudy Valentin. Imagine if they wreck. They might. Let's check the cockpit view to see the handwork on that number 97. Ooh, really the the, in, the interior interior of a modified is beautiful. They're a lot nicer than I would have thought they were. I've gone out to modified tracks before, and they don't always have the digital dash, but it does seem comfortable, and there is a lot of room to view, especially in these tour modified machines main, meant to travel throughout the eastern seaboard, as we've seen some cup drivers that came from the series, including Ryan Priest in name one. Ryan. 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 Anyway, lap 7 of <laughs> 75 here. Rudy Valentine still leads over uh, Adrian Lauer. Three-car battle. Know, yeah, three-car battle for the lead. Honestly, it's great racing. I like it. Right about that. Ciao. Very clean and collected. Right now, five concurrent views. We thank you for all of the support. We appreciate seeing new viewers as the ORSRL community is very big. Hundreds of drivers in the league and, of course, hundreds in the Discord server linked in the description. We thank you for all the support on these broadcasts, and we hope to bring the highest quality possible as we're seeing three cars chasing each other for one victory. Yeah, 
think, you know, that's really cool. Yes. And look at that, yes, CJ Mehmet's trying cool. to get into the party. Lap times have not deprecated all too much. And the field is only spread out by three and a half seconds with Darius, Reza, Dadgar, all the way in the back. But still in contention to get some position, give or take a mistake from some of those guys in the back of the pack. Man. Of course, that rhymes. Could be a four-car battle for the lead. Right about that, checking the gearbox view of our leader, Rudy Valentine, leading from the start to lap 10 of 75 in the click it or ticket 75. Aptly titled, because it's the one-mile racetrack. Mm -hmm. So, you could think of it as they're going to go, yeah. The magic mile. And this race is turning out to be pretty good so far. Anyways, so... Wabani. 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 Wabani, of course, my favorite modified series <laughs> driver in the last few years. Actually, I mean that, but at the same time, I'm not really familiar with all these modified drivers. Of course, some famous examples, including Ryan Priest, and then the there were drivers that. like Jimmy Spencer in the 80s that came out of the series. But that was Mid. a long while ago. And of course, Mike Stefanik with the Battle of the Beach quote. That's another great one. It's with these shadows on this machine. What do you guys think? Ryan. <laughs> Look at those tires. I thought we were supposed to be professional. <laughs> and oh, we got a lunge to the inside there. Ooh, we got racing. Ooh, we got racing. Valentine versus Painter. Let's see what happens. To the inside the is inside Painter. Right now, but no draft. Yeah. He's going to go peeling out. Or is he? Rudy Valentine going to no, take not. the high side. Look at and that side by Painter's. side. If Painter can lead this lap, he'll be the first guy to do so since Valentine. Side by side to the check and right no, now. No, it's not going to happen. Mm. Now look at that. Ooh. Painter was able to peel out, but he was not able to take it because compromising the best exit was the goal of Rudy Valentine's game right there. Dang. Throttle. Yeah, it's only cool. Oh. We're going it's, cycling it'll, it'll, the field. Oh, we got a little good bit of two wide action back. here between Lane Tidwell and Wesley Person. Is that a car a long car? Yes, it is indeed. No way, a car a long car. This three Something car battle rare. for sixth position is going on. In fact, it's going to be four if you include Jonathan Oates, who's just in front of them. And Rudy Valentine still being hounded for the lead by Jack Painter. And hey, look at that. What? Look at what? Checking the scene at cameras, nobody. Oh, well, that's on a this pretty side nice camera. Now, now let's uh, just give us a moment. There's a battle going. Oh, nice cars. There we go. We got cars yeah, on the yeah, surface. Yeah, yeah. Now this battle has spaced up once more. Jack Painter and Jack Lauer both now it's four calculating cars. times to go for it as it's going to be CJ Nemeth on the back bumper of this lead battle. Look Is that, that a Mug Root Beer car? Is that if, Mug Root if Beer? If you're a Mug Root Beer supporter and not the other thing I should not name on... And w and is better. AMW? Yeah, A and W is better than A and W is actually better because they have a more interesting w. history, in my opinion. Anyhow, yeah, they taste better. Hold on, you know, I'll go grab, I'll go grab one right now. I'm joking. Maybe, maybe save that. Maybe As save that for later. You're right about that. As Jack Painter still <laughs> on the back bumper of the '78 machine, Rudy Valentine giving that McLaren-inspired modified all it's got right now. And these drivers have not fallen off in time at all. Last lap for Rudy Valentine was a 30.2. His best lap was a 30.002, while Jack Painter is only two tenths off himself. The pace has not been deprecated by all too much. Dryfon Davis already up into the top five, the hardest charger of this race so far. And with a 6,000 I rating, the highest in the field, it almost serves as no question. Yeah, we should ride on board with Painter once again. You're right about that, as he is still going for that lead. We're going to be riding on board for the gyro cam of second position so far. Ooh. Ooh. Into the inside right now, but not enough. Has to back out of it just a little bit, not to hit Rudy Valentin. Yeah. And these cars only have two gears, which is basically fast and faster, like old Indy cars all the way there. Oh, wait. Ooh, he sent it to the inside. And you can see Valentin is just there. It's going to be side by side off of it. No contact with, with the tires there. Push the TV. It's going to be better. Right about that, it yeah. is going to be. No way. Just saw I thought it was two right. Into the turn side by side. <laughs> oh, and it's racing. going to be. Side side. And... Oh, oh, they might wreck. Whoa. Is it going to be Rudy Valentine's lap? I think it is going to be just yes, it barely. Is. Yeah, and he gets it on the I line. Know. I didn't tell you. What a 
other guy. Lap 20 of 75 is impending. 19 of 75 so far. These guys are going absolutely quick through this one mile racetrack as Painter's been putting all the moves on Rudy Valentin that he knows, but nothing so far. Rudy Valentin, I believe, is actually a champion of the Cup Series, or no, he was actually a contender for the championship. A very good driver in the OSRL Cup Series. We're only second race in this series, so it's an unproven commodity for all of these races. Yes, sir. This is, you know, this is shaping up to be quite the interesting race. I think it is. It's going to be all about timing for these guys. And for Matthew Mays, it is the Tour Modified car. Uh, I forgot to specify that. The SK Modifieds are going to be raced in this series, but not on the predominant basis, as the Tour Modifieds are better for a quicker track, such as New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. You know, I think... Um as we're getting real close there, we've got a top four split almost between the entire second. What do we do? Top five is only wow. a second as Jonathan Oates is only 1.7 behind. But CJ Nemitz side by side here for fifth Whoa. and fourth positions. Got the iRacing car versus the one car. It's Trifon mm. Davis, so I think he's going to make quick work of Nemitz. As Nemitz actually gets a little bit of a better run, but no use. That Ryko Motorsports machine is flying through the pack. Qualified behind most of these guys. And now going for the podium in just a, a second lap. I think we're going to see a challenge for the lead here. Oh, decent. Let's go on board with uh, our quickest driver so far. And that's going to be Trifon David. Oh, we got a spin. Almost. Oh, no way. Oh, he saved, he saved it. it. Impressive stuff there by Jack Painter. We got to check out a replay on that thing. Is that a blue car? Whoa, whoa, look at him go. The wheel worked there. You could see he was moving it. Oh, He's so dirt quickly. tracking it. And he just gets hit. Cycles oh, it around gets... once. Cycles it around once more. And those tires almost look like the fronts are unaffected. Pretty impressive stuff there. But yeah. look at that. Trifon Davis now into second. And this is giving Rudy Valentin some time oh, to he's breathe. Gonna bump oh, he's going to bump him. Oh, oh he turned him. There. An incredible save for Jack Painter, but it's going to do him no good in the race. Trifon Davis, we've been watching him go from fifth to second in only three laps. The guy is absolutely quick, and his next target is going to be 78 car. Nice. Rudy Valentin just sprung out a lead. He's, you know, just showing the pack who's boss really they were all racing back there and he's like you know what i'm just gonna leave for myself you guys right about that that me. incident with painter sprung him out like a rocket ship and it's gonna be up to davis to get all these guys back in it as painter is still fighting for a podium spot yeah you know so <sighs> gonna be um quite the interesting battle, right? yeah this is the third race we're gonna cover tonight and i think it's going to be the last so it is going to be the last as far as i'm aware but it's got a good shot at being up there. I can't say any one race is better than another, but this one's shaping up to have some really good clean racing. We're watching on board with Rudy Valentin. His rear view mirror doesn't show much right now, but he knows that's going to be full of Trifon Davis shortly. Ah, that's, that's a helmet, not... Yeah, it's not a car. Yeah, I mean, how well I Davis is closing in quickly. <laughs> Look at what? End over end, lap over lap. That What's number that? one machine is going to number one shortly, and I think that's the goal for a driver like Davis. Yeah, I, I think so too. These guys are absolutely sending it. Lap 27 out of the 75. What's one quarter of this race? Lap 30? Uh, that no, that's about a half, a half, 32, 33 odd. But right now, Davis is going like it's last lap. He's making 10th after 10th each time by. And that is, of course, the goal for any driver trying to go for the lead. TV cam right now is the battle for the lead. is getting closer and closer. That's like it was a couple laps ago. It's pretty good. You know what? Do y'all want to get on in this action? Like, oh, look at that. Battle for the lead right now, side by side. Of course, Valentin's going to have the better exit oh, here. Oh. Yeah, that outside's going to help. But I was asking if the viewers wanted to get in on this action. And and I was gonna recommend that? them. I'll, I was gonna recommend them to open up the description, and while they're at it, if they haven't subscribed, subscribe already, like the stream. But if they haven't already, yeah, do that, and then go on to the description. Look the any of the stream. Well, no. 
Like the OSR level wing, and if any other wings interest you. But Ooh, yeah, side by side there. Well, uh, side uh, by for side. Long, is Valentine still going to get a better yeah. exit side by side into the backstretch of the Magic Mile? And I think Trifon Davis is going to have it within a lap or two. Nothing that Rudy Valentine, Valentine can do. Yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, just join OSRL, getting on the action. Oh, have a ton of fun from what I'm seeing right now. Right about that side by side to the line for the lap. It's going to be Davis who leads it for the first time, a driver that wasn't Rudy Valentin. And it took nearly half the race. Right about that, but at this That's point, how dominant he was. It's going to be but... up to Valentin to put the fight to that number one car, and it looks like he is still going to be able to do that as they are side by side, back stretch to front stretch. But in the turns, look at that. Davis just gets away. Trying to go to the bottom of the racetrack right now. And I think he's actually going to make the crossover work, but not enough to get it at the line. Second lap led for the number one. This is pr some pretty good racing. But Davis versus Valentin has, has not died off yet. Side by side. Jack Lauer getting a good review, but he's getting the toe. This is all he wants to see to get back in the action. Then with the Bobby Labonte car. I think it's going to be Davis pulling away. That's Painter. That's yeah, Painter and the Bobby Labonte car. Right about that. It's going to be Painter and the Bobby Labonte car, but Lauer in that mug group here. These guys fighting for fourth. Yeah. Bitter. And Davis is just a nose ahead of yeah. Valentine for first. How, how about we ride on the cockpit cam of Lauer? Right about that. He's watching this battle, and he's yeah. in a battle of his own. Let's check it. Yeah, pretty nice battle from what he can see. As Valentine's might sign up. Set it up in the inside. No, he's not. He's gonna go to the outside. I think that's where the preferred line is. But he can get better, a better run off the exit of the corner. He looks inside. That's not gonna be. Yeah, he's gonna look inside. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I go back to the draft if I were him. Yeah, just wait, keep waiting until you get that perfect moment. He's two he tenths like back Peter's now. the quickest car on the track right now. He's, he's got draft from both of these ever so quick leaders. Two drivers a lap down right now is gonna be Robert Panko and Tommy Cook. Looks like there was an whoa. incident there. You're right about that. It is a whoa moment. We're checking oh out what happened. No. Oh. What whoa. happened to you? Well, we're kind of missing that. There's a battle has died down for a bit, so... Oh, oh there was whoa! Whoa! Plots it Slam in. the wall. Oh my just gosh. Rise it. it. Similar to the incident with Jonathan Oates. That's a wall. That's a wall, not more asphalt. <laughs> Yikes. Well, at least he saved it. As back on a lead battle, it's going to be Davis by a car length over Rudy Valentin and then Jack Lauer, who's kind of faded off right now. Mm -hmm. Lap 34, uh, 75, we're about to start lap 35. Second half of this race has been started already. Yeah, no cautions in the first half. Right about that, let's hope we don't see any for the remainder of this race as we're watching off the rear, right rear, or actually the left rear suspension of that Ryko Motorsports Toyota machine as it looks like the McLaren is not going to be able to hold a challenge, and Davis might be able to actually pull it away single file. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is pretty nice to watch. You know what? How much viewers do we got? Well, let's check the viewership right now, as it's going to be five concurrent viewers watching. What do you got to say to them? I bet all five of them are enjoying what content's on their screen right now. Right about that, if you enjoy the racing you're seeing, be sure to tell us in chat, be sure to like the stream, all the support we get on these streams is early appreciated no matter what no matter what racing no matter what type of racing the incidents the cautions the battles for the lead it's always appreciated as rudy valentine is that pitch strategy i think it is he's gonna pit early it's a pit cycle race hmm. possibly undercut i think it might Maybe. be to get back to his former glory Wow, former glory. Jeez. Former glory. Come on, he was leading up until like lap 30. We can't give him I that know, but, but, he, but he fell off after. All right. No, no, offense, no offense, but... You fell, fell off, off. Schulte. You're right what, when, when did you... No, you want to say I fell off? When, yeah, did yeah, you, I when did you not fall off? You full walked into me. Are we really talking about that here? Yes. Yeah. You're, the one, you're the one calling me talentless. I'm going to roast you again. Anyways, moving on, moving so we're on. We're going to go back but, to the but, leader, which is Trifon Davis in pit road right now. And oh, wow. Just as he enters, it's going to be Rudy Valentin, who's going to be exiting soon, getting a very long service. He's out. Wow. It was about a lap's length there. Wow, that was 
insanely long. The leader now is Jack Painter, according to our standings. Everyone's on Then Jack Lauer, then CJ Nemitz, then Wesley Person, Morpheus Perry, Trifon Davis, who's going to be very far back. I'm not sure if this is the right decision for him. It might be. Where is Rudy Valentine on track? Right there. It's no, right about that. He is right there. But when it comes to the that's situation not, wait. of... Is that a new scheme? No, that's actually not Rudy Valentine, as Rudy Valentine is climbing up our standings right now at almost an infinitely quicker pace than I can move. It's going to be Davis in front of Valentine on the pitch fast. strategy, and Lane Tidwell is going to be in between both of them. You know what? Bold prediction. We're going to go cautionless. I think we might. <laughs> oh no, we're not going to go cautionless now because I said it. All right, side well, by side between these guys for now fifth and sixth. I'm sorry, we ruined the cautional race. I'm sorry. Well, we haven't officially re uh, destroyed it. I know, but I know, but Tommy Cook. But I said we're gonna go cautionless. Robert Panko a lap and down, I'm getting off the surface behind Oates. The remainder of that crew. And now, honestly, I'm just hoping someone besides Davis is going to steal the show because CJ Nemitz leading right now after his pit stop played the strategy perfectly. But all these other drivers are getting out of the way of Davis, who's on the charge. It's going to be up to you, DJ, to uh, keep that number one machine at bay. Overall, it's been a fantastically clean race. No, like, real incidents going on on track. And I think, you know really shows how highly skilled these drivers are and really pushing the limits on you know, uh, real to real reason. I think you're absolutely right about that as we're watching on board with C.A. Nemitz. We can see the gear and the revs on your screen. Just figure that out because I did not make these tickers. Says he's in the lead since he started from six. And if we check on board with Trifon Davis, pull up his stats and uh, it just takes a little bit of a click of a button. And as you can see, it's gonna be Trifon Davis who started in 11th and currently 2nd as Lane Tidwell, who started 4th and is 3rd is watching all their gearbox cans is Davis lost the first challenge 3rd position right about that last to 1st for Trifon Davis and he's making pretty good work of it so far 135 miles an hour coming up to the turns 3 and 4 and as we watch the input to Trifon Davis, that, that's a very nice. That those are those are very nice faces I get to see on screen. Right, great faces. Unfortunately, no graphics yeah. for individual drivers right now. <laughs> Davis is going to get almost up to the 140s there before getting into the let off zone. Not really a braking zone, might be with these older tires. Of course, a few laps of use in this cycle so far, and he's only chopped off a tenth or so on Nemitz. Nemitz is actually a little quicker right now. Does this mean that the 14 might throw the upset? Wait, hold on. Mind if, mind if I say a bad take? What's your bad take? Oh, no. What, what if we put F1 cars on here with the modifieds? It's about it. Uh, I have uh, a feeling that Trifon Davis will be able to outrun the F1 cars. Literally crying. It depends who's in the F1 car. But the problem That's is right now, Trifon Davis has just lost two tenths on that last lap. Is he saving it up? I'm not sure. Let's check the wheel work. Yeah. <laughs> These are very nice cars, car noises. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, I think, um, it's interesting. And as you can see, he's really struggling to keep speed in there. You can see he's wobbling and getting very loose. I think Nemitz might have taken less tires than he had to get out front, but I don't know. You think that Nemitz took four tires? We're not sure. Honest to God, I have no exact clue of what's going on, but, you know, uh, I think right now at the moment it's good, but I'm not sure. I think Typhoon Davis might be in a bit of trouble to his. He's getting super loose in the corners. Oh my goodness, he's now one and a half seconds back. The hard charger is going to let Nemitz get a little more of a lead, which is surprising given the pace that he had for the first half as Lane Tidwell is just slightly slower. Than Davis only by a few hundreds, but that means that CJ Nemitz <laughs> fastest car on track by a load of time. See, my car, question is, what happened to Rudy Valentine? Well, is Rudy is Valentine? uh in fourth, fourth position right now, and he's not quick at all. It's gonna be Panko is coming up on him as a lapped car, so it's not been a good one, good one-stop run 
for Trifon Davis or Rudy Valentin, the former dominators of these races. This race, it felt like multiple races with all the action we had. And look at that, CJ Nemitz is going to be able to pull away. What, what are we getting a caution? We should not get a caution. I enjoy the green flag we race. We should get a go caution. Try to find we should a get a caution. On track. It's a pit stop strategy race at the moment. So. Right about that. As we're going to check Valentin and Panko. We got a caution. Sorry, were you saying IRA? Huh? Were you talking about the IRA competition caution? No, no, no. I was talking about this caution. What, what, how funny would it be if the entire field wrecked right now? I have a feeling that would like, not Like, just turned right into the wall. Oh, so like, no, uh, like Anderson or like what, Jonathan Oates? No, no. Like, what if everyone unified to turn right into the wall, take everyone... Tommy Cook back on the track the right car. now. Last position by 14 laps. He's going to need a miracle. Perhaps a caution as well. As no, Panko that, right now, a lap down fight. There's with no Cal way. Oh, we got a smoker. Oh, oh my gosh. It's not well, Nemitz, uh, so that means it has to be one of these other iRacing drivers going through all of these onboards. We're not really finding much luck. Going into pit road, and it's going to be Wesley Person who blew oh, up no. entirely. We're going to check no, the replays. Our... Oh, no. Well, an engine failure. Oh, my gosh. No! I... Oh! Destroys it himself. <laughs> Wait, was I talking? Wait, did he turn right when I said that? I got a feeling he might have been watching the stream. Oh my, wait, go back, go back, go back. All right, so we're checking on it right now as we were watching the battle between Panko and Valentin, and... Yeah, he turns it right, that's for sure. Oh! <laughs> Not good for his race, that's gonna what be... What is our caution? Ended. What is our caution? I don't think there's going to be one for a single car incident. Nemitz must be praying for no caution. He's almost two <laughs> seconds ahead of Trifon Davis. That, that was awesome. That was a uh, commentator curse, but awesome. Yes. Now, now let, let's, cur let's curse this green flag. Man. Seven per people cur currently we are watching going right to now. We appreciate all the support, and it's amazing to see. we got people in chat talking. Matthew Mays, Gateway Motorsports, and Guest 12. I think uh, Gateway Motorsports three instead of a talking. guest. We appreciate all the support here. If you enjoy the content, once again, like, subscribe. All of your support is thoroughly appreciated. We appreciate the interaction on chat, as always, brought to you by us. But, of course, the support brought to you by our viewers, the fans. Nice bot in Indeed. chat. Yeah, I had, to, uh, I had to time out that bot who actually chatted first, unfortunately. <laughs> as uh, it's going to be Dang Dar. Dadgar, not Dangar, I was thinking Port of Dangong, the 65 car in ninth, a lap down, and Robert Panko, two laps down, and Wesley Person, three down, fighting with Trifon Davis, actually. Let's hope he doesn't take Davis out. Wreck, wreck, wreck. <laughs> now, Person is actually 1600s quicker than Davis that last lap. Not sure if he's going to keep that pace. Looks like he might be able to with all this draft. Fresh tires. Or fresh, fresh tires. Fresh tires and all. It's Trifon Davis. It's Trifon Davis. Mm -hmm. uh, good point. Good point. Yeah, good point. I'd be yawning. Yeah, now he's actually slower, but not by all yeah. too much. Yawn is there. <laughs> Yin Yam. Yin Yam. I think it's, uh, you know. Why, why, are we, why are we looking at just clock for cams? Because there's because. a lot of interaction going on throughout the race <laughs> as Johnson Oates goes to the high side. Oh no, that's it. No Overruns the corner. Curse word map spalling. And look at oh, James, no. not James Thurston, I was thinking for some reason, Rudy Valentin in the McLaren car, a Formula One inspired machine. We always see Thurston in those F1 cars. No, I thought, I thought it was an IndyCar inspired machine. I thought, what? they're running the same car Indy as an IndyCar actually. Exactly, they're running the same livery. You but can honestly, say IndyCar. If you're thinking you of IndyCar before Formula One, you are an American. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Aren't you, I mean, I aren't am you as also well, an so... American? Yes, I am. I don't know why I said that. Good, good job. Now, good job. Now, good job think... Internationalizing now, our audience. Now, if you think, uh, if you think about, well, what's something that sounds Californian? You're not even in California right now. As Robert Panko lets Jack. I was born there. It was a huge L. Currently fifth right now. Not sure why Panko let off. Doesn't look like there's an issue with the car. All right, guys, let's have a let's have a um. Would you rather? Would you rather be born in California or would you rather, um, drive the worst driving car? 
I, I think I'd rather be in the situation of uh, CJ Nemitz, who's now almost three seconds ahead of Davis. Davis is being, lap, is being backed up by the lap car of Wesley Person. Not sure if he's going to be forced to let the number one go, but wow, lap car is playing interference for a few of the battles we've been seeing. Oh, lap car bad. Lap we car bad, but we, we have throttle in the car. booth. Not going to get any further into that, yeah. but uh, lap <laughs> car middle. All I'm going to say. Five Yo. laps down, Langley. Not, not Langley. You Lang are just. One air. You are the pettiest person I've ever known. Sean. Come on, we're the broadcasters. You're the drivers. You're the only one in control of any of these cars. As Wesley Person is still holding up the number one car, I think this is going to secure the race for CJ Nemitz short of a major caution. Oh, uh, you see there the ticker. He's losing time to Davis. So. Oh, oh, we got oh, Panko. Oh, who's that? Swerving who's around that? in the back. Let's check on that. Out of feel, out of feel. Hey, hey. Well, what if we it. disable the onboard? Drifting it no more. Of course, we're not on board with the drivers, but we're getting all of their telemetry. Yeah, we should turn off the telemetry. Who likes that anyway? Who likes I that don't know how stuff? you couldn't like it, but we are going to turn it off to get more of the racing experience. Yeah. Yeah, it, it isn't good when it covers up half your screen. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, I remember. Valentin just I remember, got passed by Jack Painter big time. Oh, no. I remember when doing a Roblox set up, just let it go. Yo, I remember when doing a Roblox stream as Rudy Valentine moves high and lets uh, Painter go by. Another slide job. I, re I remember that one of my tickers just uh, took up half the screen, so you couldn't see any racing. Well, that's Roblox. So Roblox is a whole different game from iRacing, which is what we're the yeah. service we're using to broadcast. Now, for the people who are watching Nine Concurrent, we appreciate all the support thoroughly. We love to see all of our viewers in chat interacting, liking, subscribing. All the support is appreciated in a way that I cannot explain Hello. fully. The battle is going on, but we're using iRacing as a service. And if you use the iRacing registration link in the description, oh, there's we, a bot. Yeah, we got a bot in chat. We're gonna take care of that. There's actually a incentive for you to use it, and incentive for us. You're getting a deal because we have the PR Hot Labs promo code on display, and we're actually going to be supported by using that link. So if you want to register for iRacing, Go. check the broadcast description for any information. 15 and now 14 to go as I look at the poll in chat. Worst driving car was selected. Yeah. Oh my I mean, goodness. Davis is now five seconds Sad off. Sadly. Something happened. We got to check back. Sadly, sadly, I was the, fir sadly, I was the first. No, first. Sadly, I was. I had to choose the first option forcefully. Now, as so, you can see, very sad. Wesley Person got out of the way. But did he? Actually, Davis must have had a big slip up there because he let a lot of speed go through his car and just get out of the way. Oh, we're going to check on it right now. Hmm. Am, I able to make Am I able to make polls on YouTube? I think you are able to make polls. At the moderator, he slows down. Why, did, why does he slow down? Now that I'm not sure of. He's now almost six seconds behind CJ Nemitz with 13 laps to go. Now this, this is interesting. As Mo Perry is behind the leader right now, one lap down. There's seven cars on the lead lap, the last of which being Jonathan Oates, who might actually be lapped on pace as he goes around Jack Lauer for sixth Ooh. position. Very risky move there. Goes to the apron. Caution! Flag is out! Oh, no! What? Oh. Davis! It's Typhon Davis! What happened? We got to check on what happened right now. And he spun. Wow. Caution. All right, cautions, precautions. I'm going to go grab that in W root here. We're going to be bringing in, well, we can't bring in CJ <laughs> at all. Nemitz is not in any of the chats, but wow. Rolls it around and that's it. Mm. Nemitz catching up to the field. The ticker is a little bit inaccurate at the moment as the drivers are resettling around. And 12 laps to go. We cannot bring in our first place driver, not in any of the voice chats right now. As this all gets settled down, it's going to be Lane Tidwell back here in second position. Of the NW Root Beer. NW Root Beer, all right. Ryan. Now Tidwell not in chat either. If we're going to bring in a driver, it's got to be one in the top five. And unfortunately, it looks like none of which are in chat. Except for actually Jack Lauer, and we're going to bring Jack Lauer after this pit cycle. A lot of drivers hitting the pavement here. 
and one of which is Jack Lauer now being scored as the leader. Now, I'm not sure what's going on. It seems like there's a major cycle trying to keep up with who's being scored as the leader and who's not. The ticker is spazzing out on us. Yes. Good old eye racing. Right by that, CJ Nemitz, followed Perfect. by Jack Painter, followed by Rudy Valentin, and followed by Jack Lauer. The lap car has stayed on track. Now, let's bring in Jack Lauer, who's going to be in contention for the podium position. Not going to happen there. Guys, I got a question. Hit stop edit. We're going to be bringing in. You can ask us our question after we bring in Jack Lowry, your fifth place in the race so far. How do you think you'll do with this very short restart? Uh, uh, I got, I sped on pit road, so I, I got to drop to the back. But oh. I got some rubber. Um, the car was getting real loose towards the end of the run. That was actually pretty fun to drive. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We might get a whole bunch of more cautions here. Right Just throw any, anything that happens. Yeah, you're right about that. We saw a lot of action. You were up in the battle for the podium positions early. We saw a little bit of action there. The pack racing sort of taking place. You think you'll be able to get back in the pack even with this drive to the end penalty? Um, not unless uh, we get some cautions. Uh, I think it's just a little too hard to pass or get to the front at least with uh, only, what, 10 laps left. Oh, and they're wrecking for... Oh, I don't know what they're doing on the back stretch. They're wrecking. Oh, uh, we got some. Whoa, what's going on here? It looks like some. Uh, oh, oh, it's beat between, uh, I think, Wesley Person and Trifon Davis. The thing ha was that uh, Person was blocking Trifon Davis, and he believes that that cost him a lot of speed in the battle with CJ Nemitz. It looks like Davis is off the track right now. We've got beef. Got that? Well, I'm it'll not be not. interesting, to say the least here. I don't know. Did, were we, was I supposed to choose there? I don't know. I think, I think was. that was actually the choose zone. No, what, I think specify. I, okay, I think, I think I, I chose top. Yeah, you so, do have the outside. So line actually, there. actually, I might not be in too bad of a spot right here. Right about that. It looks like you're just outside of the top five, sixth position on the ticker right now. So you are in, in a terrible position despite the uh, drive to the end penalty. Yeah, not bad. Uh, just try to make the most of it. Right about that, we're going to be going to the green very soon. Matt Spal uh, not Matt Spalding, who's running the road to pro, you should run these broadcasts. It's Jack Lauer. Thank you for your time. Yep. And, of course, Jack Lauer is right. in the sixth position right now. And I'm, what is I'm, your question? All right. I'm going to say a poll, and people will answer in the comments. Will cautions bring cautions? Seven. Seven. Hey, seven's been the magic number with IRA. Six concurrent viewers right now. We thank you for the support. Yes. We're going to be checking chat for answers to whether or not the cautions will breed cautions. First one of the night after a very long and very interesting stint. It's going to be CJ Nemitz leading Jack Painter to the lead. Here we go. Green, 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 green. And look at this that. Rudy Valentin back in the hunt after a very dismal second stint. Stint number three might be the charm for him. Yeah, I know. You know. Side by side. Very well, so. I... I'm really rooting for Rudy. Right about that, and we are not sure what happened nice. with Trifon Davis. I believe he might have been disqualified. That is a situation out of our control. We are not race control for these events as we are. Oh, I guess we should control. turn off the telemetry. Right about that, we're gonna be turning off the telemetry right now and we'll be watching the racing with nothing but the drivers driving it out. Yeah. Ooh, what happened to those bottom two? Are they, are well, they they're no out of the longer... race, so there's no reason to really show them. Keep on, keep on. It yeah, actually looks like the last up. driver on track is currently Wesley Person, who had that beef with Trifon Davis. we got to ask them about it after the end of this race. Right now, 10 laps to go, coming to 9. The three-car battle is going to be between CJ Nemitz, then Jack Painter, then Rudy Valentin. Well, Labani. Labani. We're going to be Labani. actually going on board with Rudy Valentin right now. See what he sees as a perspective of this oh, very close going. battle. Oh, he's looking for the Blocks once, blocks to the twice. inside, to the outside, and wow, Joey. he's gonna make it work. Joey Logano up in here. Oh god. Oh, oh wheels not touching, but they're also oh, close. Oh, they touched. That might have been contact. Might have been neck car. Not cut. our, not our decision. Of course, Iris is gonna make the call, but Rudy Valentin the second. Oh man. Uh -oh, that is really, work. really, really close racing. You're right about that. Jack Painter and Rudy Valentin just leaving each other enough room to survive, but not enough to drive on either of those lines. 
but it's gonna be Valentine making the send. He's gonna send Nemitz. it. Wow. No, that, that was smart to back out. Desperation getting to these drivers. As you can see, it's gonna be Painter and Valentine still going side by side. I don't think Nemitz like seeing okay. this. Caution is not out. You're not even in the session, Schulte. You don't even talk about that. No, but if I but if I was in that, I would have accidentally turned it because I'm dumb. Uh, well, Shelty there's a, there's a reason you're in the Bottle, podcast. Bottle, you would have. I got I got it. Bottle, you would have slammed his door, made him flip over the catch fence. There's a reason why you would be the face card driver. <laughs> there's a reason why you would be a fan. Well, I think we're all fans of the race tonight, side by side for second right now. I think CJ Nemitz is not going to catch a break, but of course these two are not racing optimally. He oh, he skates it back up. It's going to be a slide job, maybe, but no. Now Rudy Valentin has a clean track. Chase Nemitz down. Oh, let's go, Rudy. Honestly, yeah, it's gone. going to be a shock if Nemitz is going to pull this off. He's led a good portion, but that first half, he was practically not relevant. I think it's going to be amazing to see if he can get into victory lane, and he is my pick for this race. I like getting lobsters. I'm joking. Well... Whoa, side by side is, there with Lane Tidwell like, and Jack out. Painter. That's gonna be another driver. This is, this is great Carl community Long. with them racing behind. He has a clean track ahead to run and try and catch them. It's uh, yeah, but I wonder if anything's gonna happen right now. Well, he's like six steps back. Well, these two are side by side, ever much. so close. As Valentine is closing the gap right now, the racing here has been intense and it's been great to watch. Yeah, pretty nice racing from what we're seeing right now. Side by side as they enter turn one. They're inching Enjoy. ahead on one another right now. It's going to be all about the tenths of seconds between these guys as they're pushing limits. And speaking of pushing, Jonathan Oates and Jack Lauer are going like hell right now, trying to get into this podium position battle. CJ Nemitz is clear of Rudy Valentin only by three and a half tenths right now. Three Ooh. laps to do it. Three laps to do it as Rudy Valentine tries Rudy goes, to catch Rudy goes. I really think Rudy can do it. I, I, I believe in Rudy. Yeah, he's only four tenths back. It's It wouldn't be enough. No, now he's three tenths. He's going to have that draft, maybe. It's going to be Toe know. City. We're going to watch the nose cam of that machine, see how much of a draft he gets on this front straightaway coming right up. Whoa, as we're coming that. to two of the go. He's, gonna, no, he's setting it up. Watch, he's setting it up. He's going to get the beautiful yeah. run off the corner. This is the watch, modified watch. equivalent to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and he might be able to set up an Indy 500 light pass. Shades of Helio Castro Neves, perhaps two laps to do it. Look at that. Look, look, look at the time go down. Look at the time go down. Watch. Watch. Two times. Now down to a tenth. He's going to have to set it up for the white flag. He's, I bet. he's waiting for the white flag. He's Nemeth. waiting for the white flag. And we got it's going to be the longest chat saying Nemeth's Rudy, life. Rudy, Rudy, or Rudy. And oh, he's going wide. He's going to arc the corner. He's lining it up. Watch this. He's lining, lining it up. He's getting right to the bumper. White flag. He's pushing he's him. He's pushing him, he's pushing him on the front he's track. Move. Side by side. Oh, this is Nemeth's getting exciting, man. He's, but he's pushing him to the wall. Nemeth, don't hold your line here if you want to win this race. He's got to stay on the inside. No, Rudy's got the run. He's gonna block it though. Oh, he's he's the inside. Inside. He can't. He's got a wheel. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, no. Two oh to my god. Side by side. He's gonna be Rudy's best. He's Rudy's best. Rudy's there. Oh my god. He's drag race oh, to the line. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be drag race to the right. It's gonna be oh, Rudy's got it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. One hundredth of a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amazing work there. That's a photo finish. We got us. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god is right. What about it? Oh, we're going to be checking back on that. Look at this. Wow. We're gonna be oh my to... gosh. Look at this. Oh, we're trying to get an instant replay on this. We're trying to get it. Oh you can see my coming god. to the line. Wow. What was up the ticker? <laughs> Dang. What was up the ticker? You're right about that. Oh my god, I, I think our voices are gonna be dead in the morning. Look at that. Oh look at what that. What an amazing finish. Wow, look at this. Coming to the checkers and it all ends Man. right here. Wow. Look at that's, that. That's the entire race. I mean, it all comes down to that. What a show. Wow. And I think well, at this point, if we look at the it over, not the overviews, but the in onboard cameras. Both of them thought they had the race won at this moment. Wow. Yeah. 
amazing stuff there. That race clip helmet. Oh my gosh. That was the moment of the race there. Valentin shooting it up perfectly, and he's burning it down right now where he got that amazing finish done. How about that? Of course, let him do his celebrations. I can't believe it. That was an amazing finish to an amazing race. And Rudy got it done. And Matthew Mays, your prediction was right. We're getting an onboard of that final lap before we bring Rudy Valentine in. Wow, I, I can't believe it. Instant replay there. We're going to try to go all the way back to the final lap. Going as far as we all can. Right. We're actually a little too far through the race. And what this was the white, the white flag moment. We're going to check Rudy's onboard camera for it. Instant replay. And actually, we just sent it back a minute by accident. Going through the motions, you can see Rudy Valentine setting up the shot here. And this is where it all gets crazy. Wow. What? Moved. And he's just setting up the shot. And now CJ goes for the smartest move, of course, trying to block it by this not giving the, the best... inside. <laughs> it's the best call I've done, I'd say. Honestly, yeah, and it's a drag race from here. I didn't think Valentin was going to be able to get it, but they touched, and I think that was it. Boom, oh right there. Oh, my gosh. And that oh. was it. And we're going to be bringing in our race winner in an amazing finish, Rudy Valentin. How do you feel? Pretty damn good. That was awesome. Uh, I appreciate CJ for racing me clean. It's a shame what happened to him in that very badly timed caution, but... Uh, Sometimes you're unlucky, and that's racing. Uh, it felt good to actually be able to do something about my mistake on pit road. Um, uh, all, all, all out, it was a, it was a great race. Uh, <laughs> amazing finish. Uh, thank you guys for broadcasting it, too. Probably um, watching I think it's our pleasure. That was an amazing finish. I did not expect to see such a good one, given... It was a small field, but you know, you guys raced it clean for the most part, of course, a few incidents, and then we had the yellow, and, uh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Um, oh Other things my you gosh. have to say to the audience, since we're going to be going here a few times in the Modifieds, not to the same track, but you think you'll be able to do good in the next few races? Uh, I think I'll be good in the next one, considering the next race is Watkins Glen. Um... I don't, I don't remember the rest of the schedule, but it's all short tracks, I think. And then there's Rockingham. Uh, that's gonna be a, uh, it's like our, it's like our Daytona. That's what Rockingham is. Um, pretty sure I can win Watkins Glen. It's just a matter of not killing the rears too early in, in the race. Uh, otherwise, uh, I think it's gonna be a good season, good short season here. Right about that. Good to hear your thoughts at the end of the day. Rudy Valentine, our winner, and an amazing finish. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, let's bring in our second place finisher as we're checking the drivers who are waiting for our interviews. We're going to bring in CJ Nemitz, trying to actually drag them in as a challenge for some reason. I don't... You guys having the same issue as I am? What? I'm trying to drag CJ Nemitz in right now. Can somebody do it for me? Because it's not working on my end. Yeah, let me see. Who are we dragging? Uh, it's the one with the anime profile. Oh, they both have anime. Red hair. Red hair. Anime. Oh. There it is. There we go. We got CJ <laughs> Nemitz second position in this race. How do you feel? Uh, man, that was a tough one to lose after that pit strategy. I thought I had that one in the bag, and then that caution came out. And I was holding my own there, and then I kind of nudged Rudy the outside line and gave him that outside line to give me the win there. But uh, otherwise, it was still a lot of fun. Honestly, I thought it was the brightest move to make because you had the inside, the best line for these corners, and I wasn't really thinking Rudy was able to get it done, but he did. Walk us through that final straightaway. Did you have any contact with him? Uh, you know, going into turn three, I, I, like I said, I nudged him into that outside line. I noticed he was going high, and I was thinking about, man, I should probably just get up there and slam into him, but I, I couldn't do it. I finally got in the straightaway, and I realized he was pulling up next to me. Kind of nudged him just a little bit, but otherwise, once he got down to the line, it was basically just fate deciding who was going to win. Right about that. Well, we have a few races remaining in the season. You think we'll be able to do a lot of great finishes like this one with what's left? No, I've I've had a that was a pretty good pitch strategy I pulled there compared to everyone else. So if I can pull something else like that out of my out of my hat, 
for the next few races, then I should be good. But otherwise, I think I'll be towards the middle. But I'm, t I'm optimistic. Great to hear. You know, we hope you post something else like that because it was amazing for us to watch as broadcasters, and I hope the viewers enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. CJ Nemitz, number 14. Chat. And now we're going to be bringing in our third place driver. For some reason, I'm not even able to. It's going to be Jack Painter. Let's oh, get him into the voice chat. Jack Painter, you joined us in here tonight. Your third place. How was it? Uh, that was super fun. That was pretty much everything I hoped it would be. Um, I had a blast running up there the entire race. Uh, had a bit of a scary moment there earlier. Got turned sideways, but managed. That save was awesome. I got to say that. Yeah, thank you. I that was super fun. This this whole race is just super fun. I had a blast. Honestly, we got to pull up that save now. I gotta ask, what, how did you do that? Because honestly, these modifieds, I ran a few laps for the thumbnail that ended up not even being in the thumbnail, and they were pretty wicked when it came to controls. How did you get that one done? Uh, I just uh practice helped. Like that that whole pra I've been practicing not just in the practice session that we had earlier, but kind of throughout the week to just kind of get a feel for it and it just I just kind of turned it a little bit to the right didn't try to overcorrect it and laid off the throttle a little bit and it, it worked out it kind of just righted itself right about that and honestly I did not expect to see you in the front half of the race because the pack got spread out after that incident but you made your way back do you think you'll be able to do that for the remaining races uh, hopefully. Um, that was that was courtesy of uh taking two tires there on the, on the pit stop and Hopefully, I can make good strategy calls throughout the, the rest of the season because I, I love running up front. I love these mods, and this was this is super fun. Right about that. Great to hear your thoughts at the end of the day. Got to thank you for giving us the opportunity to broadcast this series, and got to congratulate you on that podium finish. Thank you for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for broadcasting this. This was, no problem. yeah, thank you. And that's going to conclude our interviews for the night. Going to have to drag... Uh, be Jack Painter dragging him back into another chat at the moment mm -hmm. as Robert Dorman just showed up into the broadcast booth. Nice. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> well, you know what? What a fantastic way to end the night. Well, we gotta show our results on the screen right we all now. Scream. And we have our results opened <laughs> at the moment. It's nice. A little bit of a glitch uh, right there. Rudy Valentine qualified first, finished first. Then CJ Nemitz qualified win. sixth what? and finished second. This could be Jack Painter, Lane Tidwell, Jack Lauer in the top five. Jonathan Notes in eight in eighth position in qualifying, but sixth in the race, one lap down. Then Mo Perry, Darius Reza Dadgar, Robert Panko, Wesley Person. And finishing it out is going to be Trifon Davis, qualified 11th and finished 11th, 12 laps down. And Tommy Cook, 18 laps down at the end of the race. Very sad. Sad, sad ending. Our New Hampshire click it to win it, or rather click it to tick, click it or tick it, win it. Jack Painter? Jack Painter, according to the screen. That's not even right. It's Rudy really? Valentine who won it. And uh, Maybe it's to select the driver. Yeah, Two you have minutes. to select the driver, and Rudy Valentine was the man who got it done, dominated the first stint, and got it done at the line. Incredible job by him. As we're going Too back to it. that insane finish. That'll be fixed next Too week. Don't it. worry. You're right about that. We got a lot of work to do with the broadcast ticker provided to us by uh, Puffer Zone Racing. We got to thank them because without this uh, setup, this broadcast would not have been possible in the way that we have done so. So I think that's going to conclude our broadcast. Not much else to say given everything. And that's it. We thank you for showing up to this broadcast and hope you enjoy it. Rudy Valentine, our winner for the night, and we will be back very soon with the OSRL E-Mod series in the next two weeks. And we got a few races to go with them, and on Saturday we'll be live with the IRA Pro 4s. Thank you all for the support. Amazing finish. And we hope to see you again whenever we're broadcasting. This is Fireball Talks NASCAR Live, and we thank you greatly for all of the support. Thank you, and good night. Good night. Yeah! And we are going to be closing out our stream right now. Loading screen. Thank yeah. you again for all the support.